Hello and welcome to the second part of the tutorial looking at Stereo Creator from Austrian Audio. The Stereo Creator, as explained in the first part of this tutorial series, is a tool that allows us to switch between three different stereo techniques in post-production after having recorded all four outputs of a pair of OC818s. In this second video, we'll look closer at the various possibilities of each setting available to us in detail. So let's dive right in. I'll let the music play and we'll change the settings as we go. We'll start with True MS. True MS is short for Mid Side Stereo Technique. What makes this special is the opportunity to change the stereo width in post production. For this purpose, we have gain controls for the mid and side signals. Furthermore, it's possible to change the polar pattern of the mid signal to control the amount of room and even the bass level. Let's see how this works with our audio example here. I'll let the track play out. Now we're mono. Now we're getting quite a wide stereo image. Now back to a more balanced setting. I will now change the polar pattern of the mid signal. Good. Let's change over now to a different stereo technique. True Stereo, also known as XY Stereo. Here we can also change the polar pattern of both microphones. Switching into a wide cardioid is going to make the sound more mono. switching to hypercardioid is going to make a more distinct stereo image. This is almost like Blumlein stereo technique. back to the usual XY setting, cardioid. We can also adjust the recording angle with this function. From one extreme to the other. back to the standard position. And now for the last technique, bloom line. We can rotate the stereo image. This helps to compensate imperfect microphone placement. So, this was an overview of the various settings and functions of Stereo Creator. We hope this has been helpful to you and wish you all the best in exploring all the possibilities this opens for stereo recordings.